Okay, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Mass Crowd AI plugin that is currently experimental in Unreal Engine 5. Now, to follow along with this tutorial, you're actually going to have to download the city samples. If I go to free Epic Games content right here, you're going to see the city sample right here, which is the Matrix demo. Now, this right here, the city sample crowds, I don't think it includes the blueprints and the plugins enabled. So go ahead and download this big one because I know for sure this has it. So with that being said, I already have it opened right here. And now there's really no no documentation in this right now so what i really did was just started breaking things like usual in unreal um, before the actual documentations come out so if you go to ai right here and go to map and i have multiple ones okay so once that's open you're gonna see this sample test scene and really since there's no documentation out right now i just started to delete a lot of things here and eventually i really found out what causes the spawner to work and that's actually the crowd spawner right here and the zone data if you see it right here these two things are really what drives that animation so i can actually start deleting these street lamps they serve no purpose as far as spawning things and a smart object uh, bench i don't really need these right now as well but pretty much what i did was just eliminate the things that i know is not going to contribute to spawning the characters even though maybe later they'll want to sit down but it's okay so if i press play here you can see that it is working right so the next question i had was all right so where are they getting their path from and i was hitting my head on a keyboard for about three days and finally i gave up so i asked a very talented youtuber sayati design or pasqual i was like pass have you figured this out yet how are you getting these to kind of change direction and things like that and he told me about another youtuber who made a video about this a couple of weeks back i guess he figured it out and i would have never guessed this here but basically if you go to show <laughs> developer zone graph and press G. If I click on the zone corner and zone crowd, you're going to start seeing the path that they go and the direction they go to. And that pretty much just solved the whole problem with me. So with that being said, what I'm going to do now is try to use this technology, this crowd AI plugin for my project Zenville. So I already have it loaded here. And in my opinion, you're better off merging your project or your map to this map because getting this stuff out of here and getting it to work, I really had a hard time doing so. So if you're trying to do this for your project, go ahead and merge your project into the city sample uh, demo matrix that you have here, like you see. So with that being said, I'm going to go to my city too, which is my uh, cyberpunk Zenville environment. Okay, sponsor time. So if you haven't done so, go ahead and check out my how to create a movie in Unreal Engine 5 Beginners Edition. I can't stress this enough. If you want to support the channel, this is probably the number one thing that you can do. Additionally, you do not need a motion capture suit to follow along with this course. I actually provide the files for y'all to follow along. So here you go, I have this map open. This is from my Zen Villa short film that I'm slowly working on. Uh, shout out to another YouTuber, Speed Design, for creating this for me here. And I'll go to post-process here and just kind of make this a little bit brighter as you can kind of see. So I'll just go to like, you know, eight or so. Obviously the lighting is gonna look like poop, but it's okay, I haven't lit the scene. This is really bare right here. Now we have that knowledge and we're armed with that knowledge. What we're gonna do is try to spawn those characters in this city here, as you can see. All right, so again, we're gonna go back to that AI folder because that's where everything is. I'm going to the agent config and here is the mass crowd spawner. So I'll drag and drop that here. If I press G, you're gonna see the icon, which is good. All right, and the next step is we're going to create a zone. So I'm gonna click on this add now for the longest time i was like where the heck is this like from the previous demo but uh, i was looking for it in the folders but it's actually right here so i put zone you're actually looking for the zone shape and again there it is before i was not able to see that because of the developer zone gap was not turned on but now it is here and it's good so i'll drag it kind of on top of a four right here and i'll just rotate it like so so it's the the people are actually moving in the middle of the road which is not really safe but it's okay this is just demonstration so now we have two things we have the zone shape and we have the mass spawner in here as you can see so let's go ahead and start setting this up let's start with the actual zone shape go to zone shape right here and i don't want vehicles i want actually people to spawn in here so i'm gonna go ahead and go to pedestrian up and down like so and then i can actually work this like a spline so if i press w and if I actually, I can actually stretch this out if I want to, like if we want them to go like, like that. And if I hold alt, this is going to create another point really similar to a spline system, which is kind of cool. Again, hold alt. 
and we're gonna make him go into a rectangle here and hold alt grab that red and again we'll go back here kind of like a full circle that's a tear you know I, I actually almost failed intro to geometry guys so this is obviously not a perfect rectangle circle whatever you call this but that's good to go now and for the tags we're going to set this as pedestrian you can choose whatever you want zero one two three let's look let's just go for zero as long as it matches your spawner so i'm going to click on that spawner now and i'm going to go ahead and press plus right here and click this down what we want is we're going to need that density zero all right so once that's done go to the spawner and i'm going to decrease this to maybe like 50 because i'm not trying to kill my computer and after that, we're going to go click build and build the zone graph, similar to how you would build like a nav mesh or something like that, or a navigation system, and then press play. And now you're going to see it's a little dark for some freaking reason. We'll go to the post process and just turn this up a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Press play now. And now you're going to see these people walking in my map. Now, even though this is still an experimental phase as far as the plugin goes, doing this before would have needed some plugins or manually adding these people in here and this plugin again i hope they don't get rid of it because it is an experimental you can they can get rid of it anytime this is such a powerful powerful tool for all of us because even though you're not making a game if you need some background people walking around this is perfect and they're all meta humans ai i can change the clothes i can change the heads to make them look a little bit more you know cyberpunk ish and they also have avoidance system so you can see they're not running into each other like a bunch of idiots it actually works perfectly and it's fully customizable and what i'll do again in the next video is kind of show you how you can do the car as well it's pretty similar all right I hope you all learned something new today. If you guys have any questions, like always, let me know. And please do hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get 100,000 subscribers this year so we can all be happy.